Hi there, Kat Lewis here, and I am back with a handful of remote jobs for you. I make it my goal to help you find the perfect remote job specifically for you, and I do that by trying to provide a nice variety, a little bit of something for everybody. So if there's something specific that you're looking for, leave a comment below and I'll do my best to find it for you. That said, I have three remote jobs I'm going to go over. I have a junior logistics position that doesn't require a whole lot of experience. I also have a role for those of you with a little bit of technical knowledge, but this one does not require you have years and years of experience, but you do need a little bit of experience. And I have a part-time proofreading role. And the nice thing about all three of these positions, they are really high payers. So let's just jump right into them. The first remote job I have comes to us from iHerb, and they're an online retailer of herbal supplements. Today they're looking for a 3PL Junior Logistics Specialist. Now I was curious, I had no idea what 3PL stood for, but when I did a little research, it looks like 3PL stands for Third Party Logistics. So this is a full-time remote position for anybody located anywhere in the United States. And you'll support the management of 3PL operations for the company. You'll be responsible for the daily operations and coordination with the 3PL partners and various internal departments. And those departments include inventory planning, marketing, warehouse operations, and engineering. You'll also manage and execute multiple time-sensitive projects to meet business objectives. You'll support and managing of projects from design through implementation that support growth and operational improvements for the company. You'll identify, drive, and develop best practices, efficiencies, and process workflows. You'll also perform day-to-day -day management of operational activities, ensure that projects and tasks meet deadlines, as well as escalate any issues which may impact successful implementation and execution. You'll conduct data collection and analysis and actively identify and scope new opportunities to improve how the company can better serve customers. They're looking for someone who has excellent verbal and written communication skills. They'd like you to have the ability to collect, analyze, and report on data needed for projects. You're detail-oriented. You're able to analyze information and evaluate results. You must be comfortable presenting information to people at multiple levels, both inside and outside the company. You must be able to make good judgment calls based on the analysis of information and you're able to identify potential solutions through the application of technical experience guided by your manager. They'd like you to be proficient with the use of Microsoft Suite that includes Excel, Word, PowerPoint, Visio, and Project. They'd also like you to have at least one year of similar experience, experience managing complex projects, you have an understanding of business process workflows, and you have excellent organizational skills. And they tell us it's required you have a bachelor's degree in business administration or related discipline or equivalent additional experience. So if you don't have a bachelor's degree, as long as you have equivalent experience, you should be good. So benefits come with this job, and it looks like your standard suite of benefits to include medical, dental, and vision insurance, 401k, and plenty of time off. And check out the salary. They're going to pay between $54,063 and $105,318 per year. The second position I have is for all of you who have a little bit of technical experience. And this comes to us from the company SourceGraph. They're a web-based coding tool for development teams. And today they're looking for a support engineer. This is a full-time, fully remote position. And what's really cool about this position, they tell us they're an all remote company and they hire almost anywhere in the world. However, the expected working hours for this position is 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You don't have to live within that time zone. You just have to be able to work within those hours. So it looks like this is a technical customer support kind of position. In reading through this job lead, it looks like they'll provide a lot of training. Within the first month of working there, you'll learn about the product, the value propositions, customers, the team, and the practices of the company. You'll also learn how the coding tool is deployed, product configuration and integrations, the code base, and common user needs. So once you learn all that, you'll start working with customers to troubleshoot and solve reported issues. And don't worry because you'll get a lot of support from the team. And then within three months, you'll be working with customers to troubleshoot and solve reported issues. And you may be doing more of this solely without the team's assistance. You'll also contribute to improving the product and handbook documentation. And then within six months, you'll observe trends causing issues for the customers and suggest remedies. And they give a nice example here, what things happen consistently and what can be done to keep those things from happening. You'll also suggest improvements for team onboarding and ongoing enablement, improving the customer experience and or improving the product. 
They're looking for someone who enjoys trying new technologies. They'd like you to have a working experience with Unix, Linux, and or Bash, as well as a working experience with Kubernetes, and I hope I said that correctly. They also want you to have a working experience with code hosts such as GitHub, GitLab, and Bitbucket, strong understanding of databases, especially SQL. They'd like you to have compassion to meet customers, understand their issues, and be compelled to take actions, and their customers are all developers. They're looking for someone who has experience collaborating with cross-functional teams to solve difficult problems for customers, as well as someone who is proficient in communicating complex technical ideas and decisions to a variety of audiences, both technical and non-technical. And they're looking for someone who has at least three years experience in a similar role. It's nice if you have foundational knowledge of APIs and or Git, foundational knowledge of cloud computing with AWS, GCP, or Azure DevOps, experience writing code in Go or other languages, basic knowledge of or experience with Perforce, and I hope I said that one correctly too. And it's also nice if you have basic understanding of AI tools and how developers use them. Now all five of those are just nice to have, they're not required and they will pay a base salary of $106,000 per year, and benefits are included, and it actually looks like a really nice suite of benefits. Not only is this a fully remote position with a lot of time off, but they will also give you a travel budget, internet, mobile phone stipend, and they'll also give you $2,000 for a desk setup. And one of the things that I'm finding more and more in job leads is this statement right here. If this job sounds great, but you're not sure if you're qualified, apply anyway. So if you meet some of the qualifications, but not all of them for this job, apply anyway. Employers know not everybody ticks every single box. The third and final position I'm gonna go over comes to us from Kaplan, and they provide learning programs for universities, businesses, and individuals. Today they have an opening for a proofreader to proofread documents in architecture and engineering, and this is a part-time remote position anywhere within the USA. And even though it says this job was posted 18 days ago, it is still available. In this role, you ensure the editorial accuracy, consistency, quality, and style of PPI architecture and engineering products. You'll proofread research and fact check content, review output against inputs and or reference works to ensure completeness, read content for accuracy, clarity, and sense, noting possible deviations. You'll also compare files to ensure most recent version contained all specified changes. You'll accurately interpret, incorporate, and mark author and SME changes, as well as diplomatically and effectively communicate with project collaborators. And you'll do all of that while meeting established deadlines. As far as education and experience, they tell us it's preferred you have a bachelor's degree or equivalent in math, science, or engineering. And they'd like you to have three years minimum experience in professional proofreading, preferably in education, scientific, or technical subjects. You need to be proficient in Microsoft Word and Adobe Acrobat. You can demonstrate the ability to accurately and thoroughly proofread on deadline. And it's desired to have the ability to moderate depth of proofread to scope of work. They'd like you to have in-depth knowledge of the Chicago Manual of Style, experience in using detailed style guides and proofreading checklists. You have the ability to juggle completing deadlines and handle a large volume of work quickly and accurately. You have a working knowledge of print, electronic, and online publishing. You have excellent written and verbal communication skills. You have effective collaboration skills, and it's preferred you have skills with Excel. So they will pay $30 per hour for this part-time proofreading job. And even though they list benefits, because this is part-time, I'm not sure if you qualify to receive benefits. You'll have to ask that during your interview process. Well, there you go. We just went over three really good, high-paying remote jobs. I hope at least one of them is the right one for you. But if not, leave a comment below. Let me know what it is you're looking for. So when you're ready to apply for any of these jobs, check out the links in the description box below this video. They'll take you directly to these job leads. And good luck to everybody who applies. And I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please give it a thumbs up. It encourages me to do more like this. And if you haven't already done so, consider subscribing to this channel, hitting that notification bell, and turning on all notifications so you don't miss any job leads when I post them. Because I'm all about helping you find your perfect remote job, and I don't want you to miss any of the job leads. Thank you so much for visiting, and I'll talk to you again soon.